Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm taking a look at another Travax wallet, and that's the Travax Axis. Let's check it out. So before we get started, I have another giveaway. So stay tuned to the end of this video to find out how you can win this Onyx Black Travax Axis with the Melanite finish. This thing is gorgeous. So watch to the end of this video to find out how you can win this bad boy right here. All right, so here it is, the Travax Axis. Let me give you guys a nice little close up of this wallet out of the box. Now the Travax Axis is available in five different colors. There's a zombie green with the Cerakote finish. There's a wallet that I have right here, OD green with the Cerakote finish. There's also a cobalt color with the Cerakote finish. The black onyx with the melanite finish, the one that I have for the giveaway. And there's also a plain tumbled stainless steel version. All right, now let's go over some quick features of the Travax Axis. It can hold between one to 14 credit cards and between one to eight bills. Both the front and the back plate are made from stainless steel. So even though this has a nice slim profile, this is actually a bifold. And now that the bifold is open, you can see right there, there's your money clip. It has multiple attachment points. There's one right here on the front plate and then one right here on the back plate. And then right here we have this webbing lanyard that can also act as an attachment point. Right here is where we have the adjustable mil spec nylon to adjust how many cards you hold in here. But also there's a nice little hidden pocket. So this pocket right here can either hold coins, it can hold an extra key. I don't know how many coins yet. I'll be testing that out a little later on in this video. Turn it back around to the front. We have a nice easy access ID window. The Travax access is RFID protected. Like all Travax products, it is made in source right here in the USA. And it does have the Travax 65 year heirloom warranty. So let's take a closer look at the Travax Access most unique feature is that it's actually a bifold. So when it's open, you have quick access to the cash that will be stuffed right here underneath the money clip. And of course, you can access your cards that will be stuffed right in there. And then when it's closed up, it's all latched together with this metal grommet. And you can see how it all latches together with this metal grommet. Right here is a little metal piece that sticks out like a ramp. So I think it's really cool that it has these multiple attachment points here. So if you have something like Travax's link lanyard, you can actually hook it through both of those attachment points just like that. And then when it's attached to your wallet, of course, you can have your keys right here on the key ring. But if you do have the carabiner going through both attachment points like that, just be aware when you try to get your cards out might be a little difficult, but that's just one way to attach the carabiner. You can actually take advantage of just hooking it to the back plate, or you can hook it right here to the front plate. But once again, when you try to get your cards out of there, it just might get in the way. So I do think if you're gonna use one of these attachment points, you might as well just use the back plate attachment point because it just doesn't get in your way right there. But my favorite place to attach the lanyard is actually right here, because when you attach it right here, it's just out of the way. But whichever way you prefer to do it, I just think it's cool that we have these multiple attachment points. So nowhere on the website does it say how much this weighs, so let's weigh it. All right, let's plop this bad boy on the scale. Exactly three ounces, and three ounces in grams is 84 grams. So that's still relatively lightweight for having a front and back plate made of stainless steel. All right, so now let's get to the card test. Right here I have seven demo cards, four demo cards with raised numbers and three that are flat. So I've been carrying this access with my normal seven cards that I carry on an everyday basis. So what you wanna do is just take all seven and slide them right inside. But like I already said, I already had this adjusted for the seven cards. So this is how you adjust it. Put however many cards that you carry right here. And then what you wanna do is you see this nylon webbing right here, just give it a nice pull and eventually it'll start to conform to your cards. Now this part does take a little bit of wiggling around just because of how it's threaded through right here, but eventually just pushing all this webbing through and pulling the slack, it'll work. Then after that part's done, what you wanna do is close up the metal clasp here and start taking out the slack in this nylon strap in the back. So the easiest way I saw to do this is just start pushing this nylon strap through this part in the back right here. So when that's pushed through, then 
pull this a little bit to give this a nice little tug. And then after you get a little bit of slack right here, start pushing the rest through this bottom slot. You start getting this slack through that slot and then just pull the rest through the bottom right here on this strap. And then that should give you a nice tight fit for your cards. So what about the functionality of the axis? So we have this nice little ID window right here. So of course you're gonna put your most used card right there on the top. So just push it up with your thumb, easy. But how easy is it to get these cards out of the middle or the back? So this is what I like to do. Unlatch it and push all the cards up at once and fan through. Then after they're fan through, just take the card right out of the middle and Put it away so it's super easy but if you don't like that method you can also take advantage of this id window and just cycle through your cards like this pick whatever you want and take it out like that so either method i found works very well either the fan method that i like to do or cycling through the id window so what about if you're a cash carrier so they say one to eight bills and i just so happen to have eight bills right here. So take your eight bills, fold them into quarters, and then use this money clip, just split the bills right in half, then fold up your wallet and latch it up. So now you can see how smart this design is. Your bills are folded in half over the money clip and they're all held securely in the back right here with this strap. And you can see here, if I push these bills back and forth, these bills are pretty secure in here. It's not gonna fall out. And then accessing your cash is just as easy. Open up your bifold, take the bills out, pay with whatever cash you want to, fold them back up, close the bifold, latch it back up. This thing is super functional. We also have this little piece of webbing right here. It's a nice little spot to hold another card. But after thinking about this idea for a little bit, it just doesn't make too much sense. Because if you wanna carry an extra card, why put it there? You might as well just put it right here in the card slot. But I figured it might be good for business cards just to put them away real quick that you don't really want mixing in with your other normal credit cards. But the most unique feature about this little strap is right here, this little coin slash key pocket. So let's test out how many coins it can handle. So I have some American quarters here. So let's start shoving those in there. There's one, six American quarters in that pocket. But you can see it starts to get a little plump, but that's not such a big deal because we can always adjust the tension of this back plate here. So let's close it up and see if those coins are gonna fall out at all. And no not gonna fall out at all. So that's a great little pocket if you guys are coin carriers and it's latched up. But once it's unlatched, yeah, obviously they're just gonna fall right out. So let's take out those quarters and let's try out a key here. So here's just a little demo key that I use for videos and stick it right in there, fits in perfectly and boom. So just like those coins before, if you shake this, that key is not gonna fall out, but if you wanna access that key, unlatch it and yeah, comes right out. So this little pocket is actually one of the best coin slash key pockets that I've seen in a long time. And yes guys, they did claim 14 cards in the Travex Axis, so of course I'm gonna have to try that out. I'll be right back. 11 minutes later. All right guys, I didn't wanna bore you showing how I had to fiddle around with this thing to stuff 14 cards in here, but I did it. So I have 10 flat cards right here, and then I have the four raised number cards. So that's 14 credit cards I have stuffed right here into the Travax axis. And it actually wasn't that hard at all. Messing around with this webbing right here is actually pretty easy. The toughest part was messing around with this back strap to give yourself enough slack to actually close this thing. So the question is, with 14 cards in here, can I still get those eight bills in? <laughs> ah, there you go. <laughs> 14 cards, eight bills, max capacity. But once again, guys, this is a minimalist wallet. I wouldn't really recommend stuffing 14 cards in here. But if they claim 14 cards and eight bills, I have to test it and there you go, 14 cards, eight bills. All right, guys, so it's giveaway time. I do have the Onyx Black Trayvax Axis right here to give away. Still brand new, unused, still in this package, but I am gonna take it out of the package right now just to show you guys what you have the potential to win. So let me give you guys a nice little close up of this black on black Trayvax Axis and this thing is absolutely gorgeous. All right, so how do you win this thing? Well, first you have to be subscribed to this channel. Number two, you have to like this video. And number three, you have to comment on this video. So subscribe, like, and comment. After 200 comments, I'm gonna draw the winner. And one of you guys can win this Trayvax Axis right here. 
All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of the Trayvax Axis? Guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. If you watch this channel, you know that I love the Trayvax Contours, my EDC. It's been my EDC for the last couple months. But if there's one wallet I think that could take the place of my Contour as my EDC, it's gonna be the Trayvax Axis. And I never saw that coming. I just absolutely love the functionality of this Axis. The stainless steel plates, the multiple attachment points, the mil-spec nylon, the bifold, the money clip. I love the coin and key carrying capabilities. All in a nice little slim profile. I absolutely love it. So if I had to give this a rating, I'd give it a 4.5 out of five. So right now on the Trayvax website, the Axis is going for $49.99. So I will put links below in my description box. And I do have a special code just for my subscribers. Enter Crispy10 at checkout and get 10% off your entire order. But that is of course, if you don't win my Axis giveaway. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go.